Hey, what's up guys? I'm just going to show you really fast how to um, create a script and push it to the um, script repository on RSpeer. Um, so with this tutorial, I'm going to start it from a blank slate, basically no client downloaded, no account or anything. Okay, so the first step we'll probably have to do is uh, download the client. So if you just go to rspeer.org here, uh, you'll see a download button on the top right. So we'll click this here. It's downloading real fast. Going a little slow. Um, but basically, this will download the RSP launcher, which uh, will download the client and its dependencies itself. So, we need to run this launcher to download the client itself. So, I'm going to open this here. Uh, sometimes on Mac, it doesn't let you open stuff from a non identified developer. Since we aren't identified on the Mac App Store, it doesn't let me open it by double clicking unless I allow it. So, I'm just going to run it with a uh, the command line here. So if I do dot Java jar and then drag this here, should be able to just run it. Okay, yep. Okay, so this started up on uh, localhost uh, 50815. So this is the launcher itself. And it's telling me I don't have the RS pair client downloaded here. So I'm going to click OK to download it. Okay, just tell me it's going to begin. So it's downloading now. Cool. All right, so downloaded. Um, now we're, it puts that in the um, home folder here. You can get a RSP folder inside of here. And it's in the cache directory. So this rspeer.jar is the actual client itself that we're going to use in our scripts. It's basically give us access to the APIs to be able to write a script and interact in game. Um, so we need to add that as a dependency to our script. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up um, IntelliJ for writing my scripts, and then I'm just going to create a new one here. Um, let's just make a Flex Picker, Flex Picker Pro. It's our new, new script name now. Okay, so with this open, uh, what we can do is right-click the project, go to uh, Module Settings, Dependencies, click the plus button here, and we need to add the RSP jar that we just downloaded. So home folder, rspeer, uh, cache, and then rspeer.jar here. So we have that as dependency, let's apply it. Click OK. OK, all right, so we have that. Let's add a new file here. I'm just going to call it app. OK, so the first thing we have to do is extend script, which is a class that rspeer provides that basically tells it that this is your um, class with your script basically that we're going to execute the logic inside of this loop here. So I'm not going to actually write a full script out, but I'm just going to print killing or no, it's a flex picker. So picking flex. Okay, cool. So our script's pretty much done. It looks pretty good. Um, so let's add a script uh, meta. That's kind of, that's the next step we have to do. Uh, basically, it tells RSP about your script, what it is, what your, what the name of it is, and stuff like that. So it's just an annotation we're going to add up here. And then it requires a couple uh, different parameters here. So we need description, uh, picks flex, name is flex picker pro, and then developer is obviously me. So I'm going to write that there. OK, so yeah, our script looks done. Um, now we want to deploy to the SDN. So let's continue with the next step. So basically with RSPR, um, to deploy it to the SDN, it requires us to push our code to a Git repository. So what we do here at RSPR is we offer um, basically free GitLab repositories for all the scripters. So we need to sign up for one to push our code to it so that way we can get it on the SDN. So what I'm going to do is go back to rspeer.org. I'm going to click on the scripts tab here. <clears throat> and then I need to uh, create an account. So let's go to uh, no account sign up. Uh, let's just do mandev 001. At and then now uh, mandev 001. And then we have a Sorry. Okay, so signed up. Let's sign back in. Or sign in. Don't need to save that. 
Okay, cool. We're signed in now. Uh, now, if I scroll down on the left side here on the script repository, we'll see the script development tab. We'll click this. Basically, what it'll do is um, ask us to request a GitLab repository so we can upload our scripts. So we need to enter our GitLab username. Um, if you don't have a GitLab username or you've never signed up or you know what it is, you can just click here and it'll redirect you to the GitLab uh, link. So basically, you'll just want to sign up here uh, in this register tab, fill this out, and then grab your username. Um, I'm not going to re-sign up now, but I'm just going to reuse my account. So <clears throat> signing on my account, and my username on the top right here is uh, rspearmaddev. So I'm going to come back over here and just search for maddev here. And this will search all the GitLab accounts, and you can select the correct one that's actually a GitLab account. So it didn't find an exact match for maddev, because that's not my username. Um, mine's rspearmaddev, so found one is not. Uh, matching near that, but here's mine right here. So I'm just going to click on this is my account. So that's my account. And then I'm going to click to request a GitLab repository. It's requesting here. Hopefully it works. It actually might not work because I had a repository earlier that I removed. Um, so it might actually fail. because the path is probably taken. Um, I might have to make a new GitLab account, I'll show you. Let me make one. Um, So front. I can almost guarantee you I'm gonna have to do this like 30 times. That's what always happens. So we have that there. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, see I don't I don't get that at all. Like that was all the storefronts. Street sign, street sign, verify. Okay, good. Register. Not now. Uh, no, I used a 15 millisecond work. Um, oh wait, never mind, it did work, okay. Okay, so we don't need to make a new connection. Okay, so we have our buzz for URL here that I created. Um, so if we go to this, just sign in the dollars, I don't know, not every time. So we have this. So we see uh, MadDev 001 scripts, basically. Um, so this is what you'll see on a brand new repository. And what we want to do is create a new project here. And this is a B4R script. So let's do, um, let's do, let's do Flex Picker Pro. Make a project. And the whole idea is we want to have a um, single project, basically, per script. So don't put uh, multiple scripts in one project because the way we work with deploying it is we take this entire repository and deploy it to the SDN. So multiple scripts on one won't really work. It needs to be a separate project per script. So as you see, I created a whole separate project for this one script. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try this um, with our existing stuff. I tried this earlier and it didn't work. If it doesn't work, I'll just clone this one, move the files over. But basically what we wanna do is let's go here. Um, I'm gonna need an idea for what this yeah, is. So we're gonna do CD Flex Picker Pro. Um, so we're in our directory of our script. We're gonna do git init, and that's gonna basically add a git repository, empty git repository, or not, or add the origin here. So this basically. So it's. Um, Git remote add origin. Let's paste that in there. Okay, and we can verify that added by running git remote. As you see, there's two here for that. Um, so if we do git add period, this will basically add all the files in the current directory and its subdirectories. So if we do git add period, do git status, 
And as you see, it's going to be adding a idea folder, Flex Picker Pro, and then app.java here. And app.java is our script. So let's do added uh, Flex Picker. Okay. We did get push new origin master. Cool. So we just did that. Um, basically, I pushed our script to the repository here. So if we refresh, we now see our source folder, and then we see app.java here. Okay, cool. So there's our script. Uh, now what we have to do is submit it to RSP for it to be approved. Um, so what you'll want to do is go back to the root directory of your project. Should here, it's just this, pretty much this page. So gitlab.org, um, RSP public SDN, your username, and then the script name basically, depending on how you set it up. So we'll take that link, we'll go here, and then on here we can basically submit a script to add to the repository. So we're going to do um, flax picker pro picks flax. Then we want to add this repository URL that we had that we just grabbed. Um, this also requires us to put a form thread URL. I'm just going to put a fake one here for now. I don't worry about that. But what you actually, actually, actually I'll probably just show it because we need to make one. Um, so as you're submitting a script, you're going to want to go to the community. Uh, sign in. I actually forgot what the, is it mad or is it one? Yeah, I think so. So you want to sign in there and then go to the um, development section. Or sorry, not development section. Um, the script section. Create a new topic for your script. I'm just going to call mine Flex uh, Picker Pro. Picks Flex. And I'm, obviously, we're going to want to have a more detailed description, but I'm not going to go through that in this video. Basically, you want to advertise your script as much as possible um, at its features, what it does, um, pretty, just pretty much anything you can to make your script look decent and people wanting to use it. But for now, I'm not going to do that. So let's submit that. So we have this here. We're going to take that URL here, go back to the script repo, and paste it here. And then we want to select a script category. It's basically a flex picking this probably money making, so I'm going to select that one. And then I'm going to submit it for review. Okay, so it says my script is submitted for review. If I scroll down here, you can see, okay, so we have flex picker, fix flex, repo URL, the version, category, date requested, and then the status is pending review. So let me, um, I'm going to actually go ahead and improve this right away. I'll just remove it right after. So basically, our spare staff has to go ahead and improve that. So we're going to look through the repository for any kind of malicious code, anything um, that could basically affect people's computers. We're going to look through that and deny it if there's any kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and accept this. So click accept. It's processing right now off screen. Um, basically, our servers are compiling it. OK, so it's accepted. Now if I refresh here, you see status is complete, message successfully added an updated script. Okay, um, so if we go here back to vWall, we can search for our Flux script here. And there it is, Flux Picker Pro by MadDev001. Total users, last updated. And then it's also in the um, money making section here. And if we click that, it goes to the thread. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, now, if we want to make updates to our script, what you'll basically have to do is go here, let's add a quick update. Um, let's go back to the command line, commit that. So we're going to do git add again, git commit, updated script. We're going to do git push origin master again. Okay, so we just push that update. And we can go back to uh, GitLab to kind of verify that. So if we um, refresh one more time, yeah, we see update script here. Yep, so pick King Flex faster. So what we'll do now on the repository is we want to request an update. So basically, we'll scroll back down here, we'll go here, and we'll click the request update button. 
So we want to submit an update request for the following script. And this will also give us a chance to update the description if we want to. So basically now our script is submitted for an update. So it has to go through the same review process again. So this time I'm going to show you what happens if it gets denied. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and deny this here. Now this, it could be denied for any possible amount of reasons. Uh, it could be an error compiling, unhelpful description, malicious content, all kinds of stuff. So basically I'm going to just deny it here. Okay, so I went ahead and denied the script. If I refresh, you'll see status denied here and then the message not fast enough. So basically I denied the script. Um, you're welcome to resubmit it again. Um, but it probably will get denied again if it's not changed. And then also, the biggest thing I've seen is just scripts being denied from um, not compiling. People seem to push scripts that don't compile for some reason. I, I don't understand that, but it happens. Um, so if that does happen and you don't see your script on the SDN, always check these logs here to make sure it wasn't denied. But yeah, I think that's basically it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and um, you uh, make some scripts for our Thanks.